earlier this week, the New York Times and Politico revealed the existence of a secret government program to investigate UFO sightings. It was especially focused on encounters by members of the military, like this one experienced by a U.S. Navy pilot off the coast of California. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Look at that thing. It's rotating. The program began in 2007 and ended five years later, but its former head, Luis Elizondo, is convinced that something compelling is out there. What we are seeing is something that is, is not traditional aircraft. It's not a drone. Uh, it's not something that we can easily say, oh, that's an airplane or that belongs to this country or that country. In fact, uh, my submission is that what we are looking at is truly, by definition, exotic technologies beyond beyond next generation technologies. Here with more about this Pentagon program and the UFO phenomenon is Time Science editor Jeffrey Kluger. Jeffrey, good morning. Good morning. So how surprised were you about this Pentagon program, a surprise program with a $22 million budget? $22 million. Now, I was surprised but not displeased. Look, for starters, $22 million in a $600 billion Pentagon budget in a $3.8 trillion national <laughs> budget. Change. That's chum change. Perspective, yeah. But what they're doing and what we've been doing for as long as we've been looking for these kinds of things is simply looking for flying objects that are where they don't they're not supposed to be. Now, that could be a military threat. We should be looking at it, but on the one in a million billion chance that it really is ET, we kind of want to know that too. Is, so. is this the revelation that the conspiracy conspiracy theorists have been looking at? for all along that the government knows there are actually UFOs. Well, it's always impossible to know what the conspiracy theorists are thinking. <laughs> but remember, what the conspiracy theorists would argue in these cases yeah. is that the, the government knows, A, and that it's covering something up. I don't think this is what they're looking for. All, all they are looking for, all that's being said here, is that the government is doing due diligence. We need to know what objects are that haven't been logged properly, and on the off chance they're ET. All right, we should know that. Program said it ended in 2012. Did it really? Well, these things have elastic deadlines. <laughs> and it did not end in 2012. Now, it, the Pentagon still has a lot of people working for it. So even if the program isn't officially on, NASA, on the Pentagon's books anymore, right. there's still people there who are keeping an eye open for these things and are still analyzing the data that comes in, and they should. So, Jeffrey, what's your take on that Navy footage we saw of the UFO? Well, I'm going to acknowledge that it is unusual and it is intriguing <laughs> but intriguing it's not a frisbee it's not a frisbee uh, but intriguing does not mean extraterrestrial it's worth remembering we have always seen things that looked extraordinary and had extraordinary ordinary explanations john glenn thought he saw fireflies outside his spacecraft and it just turned out to be ice crystals do we have the technology i guess the u.s or any other country though to do what we saw well it doesn't appear we do yet but remember the defense advanced uh, research projects agency the skunk works in which the department of defense comes up with cutting edge technology right. we don't know what they're doing at any given moment so they we may. certainly <laughs> don't know what russia's skunk works have or what china's skunk works have but this technology does look like if it is what it seems to be something that would be beyond what any of us have yet and we should know this is not this this project that the government has was not the first time they've taken on UFOs. No, they haven't. They started looking in 1947 when the famed Roswell incidents happened. Yeah. From 1952 to 1959, 69 rather, there was the Project Blue Book operation. There are currently other operations going on now, but it's also worth remembering Project Blue Book had uh, investigated 12,000 different potential sightings. Only 702 did not have a direct answer, and that doesn't mean they were ET. It just means they couldn't figure out what they were. You come to this from a scientific background. What do you think UFOs actually are? I generally think, I do so want to believe that they're ET because it would make the world a more interesting place. Yeah, I just don't think they are at this point. There are way too many potential worlds out there, trillions upon trillions, and the idea that these folks would find their way to our skies over the United States when we have a uh, an airplane flying it's a long shot. But I love the idea of the bike going over by the moon there. Just yeah, like ET. Time Magazine's Jeffrey Kluger, thank you. Thank you so much.